can start in Kenya in the south because emotions are still high in the country after a devastating attack on a university campus on Thursday. An attack that took the lives of 147 people, mostly college students. Now, that may explain the unusual move Kenyan authorities took with the bodies of four people investigators say were involved in the rampage. They paraded them through the streets of Garissa in the back of a pickup truck. CNN's David McKenzie reports. We want to warn you, the images you're about to see are disturbing. A gruesome parade through Garissa town. The images far too shocking to show unblurred. We're following a convoy now. The police have piled what they say are the terrorist bodies into the back of a truck and the whole town is coming out to see. The alleged gunman locked in a macabre embrace, wrapped in an orange tarp, driven into a primary school for viewing. In the baking sun, the stench is overpowering, but some in the crowd want more. You want them to be burned? Yes. Yes. Why? 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 Because Example this gunman is the kill the innocent children. We want to burn these people. Perhaps the police want to prove they killed the gunman. Or perhaps they just want to avenge the dead. They're now driving the van next to the crowd so people can inspect the bodies. It's getting pretty chaotic here. They spirit away those suspected of killing so many. Now they're evacuating the students who survived the terror. Searching their bags for explosives, their university shut down. So these are the unlucky lots that I was seeing here. Clinton Mbaya says his girlfriend was murdered with six of her friends. He says the gunmen slit the throats of the men because they didn't want to waste their bullets. Probably most men were slaughtering. These students came to Garissa to build a better life. Now they are leaving broken, their friends lost in brutal violence, their futures uncertain. Doug McKenzie, CNN, Garissa, Kenya.